Are you a boobs or bum kind of guy? Makeup or no makeup? Have you ever questioned your sexuality? Would you get with someone your friend has got with? Are boys bitchy? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hello beautiful people, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. For today's video, I'm joined with my younger brother, Charlie. <laughs> So there's been a trend going around on YouTube where you basically ask your guy friends, your guy siblings, questions that you're too afraid to ask anyone else. I thought, what better way to get my brother involved in a video than this video. We are going to be filming the asking guys questions that you're too afraid to ask. So I'm very, very excited. Same. I hope you're ready because I've got some juicy questions to ask you. First question. All right, let's go. Face or personality? You gotta be 100% honest. If I'm honest, yeah, I'm gonna say face, yeah, because you don't know, you know, you know, you can't just see any random person and be like, oh, they've got a nice personality because you don't, you've never spoken to them, innit? You kind of just have to go off looks first then if you think, oh, they look like they're nice, <laughs> kind. So, okay, what kind of person or what kind of girl looks nice then? So do they look a certain way and you're like, oh, they're nice to get to know? I don't know, I've never really had to do that. <laughs> I've never I've never really been walking down the street and being like, yeah, she looks nice, I'm good to go chat to her. I think both are important. I think face and personality are important. Like, you wouldn't date someone that you're not attracted to. Yeah. It could either go personality, which is just like, yeah, you're having a great time, like, you bond so well together. Or yeah. Like, yeah, she's like, well, good looking. I want to chat to her. But she's dry. Yeah, she's got dead chat. Yeah, I think someone can have, like, really good looks, but then they could also, like, have a bad personality. Yeah. Yeah. But then you can also have the opposite where really good personality, but then they're all also like not that good looking and you're like for yeah. god's sake have you ever been sent a nude yes have you yes i have interesting so what do you do with it do you like just kind of like is it just spontaneous like is it just random there's a lot of jokey apps that guys like to use like so when you when you go like stay at a guy's house here yeah, you like to piss around a little bit yeah yeah and sometimes that involves like downloading like an app <laughs> And then you're just like either going on it just to mock other people or and you're like, oh, they're, they're a bit stupid, isn't it? This is so new to me because as a gay guy, I haven't had that same kind of like, you know, bro on bro sleepover kind of thing. Because my brother is younger than me, you know, we've both grown up differently in kind of like different times. So when I was like his age, social media wasn't as big as it was now. You're going to see a nude. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I just feel like it's impossible. Even when you're scrolling <laughs> on Instagram, it's like, you know, there's a girl in a bikini. At this age, you're always going to see it. Are you a boobs or bum kind of guy? I think bum. <laughs> yes! I've, I think bum's so much better. I, I have to agree with you. <laughs> oh, it's just so much nicer. <laughs> okay, so what about like, fillers girls get plastic surgery and fillers to like their lips or to their bum so what are your thoughts on like plastic surgery or would you prefer a girl who's a bit more natural personally i know i know it sounds like the obvious guy oh yeah natural natural but i genuinely do prefer natural okay mainly because like it's just fake isn't it all right if they're really not happy with themselves then mm. i'm like all right okay yeah i understand where you're coming from but if you want i just want to look even better than i am it's like mm. nah you don't you don't need it because you're quite a good fitness guy like you're very into your fitness and working out you match with girls who have that similar mindset where yeah. they kind of look after their bodies that's who you kind of go for and attract yeah i love myself like fitness and like, <laughs> I, think, I think a guy <laughs> i love myself <laughs> have you ever wanted to date one of your friends i mean i'm gonna be straight honest most of the girls which i'm friends with now i've already dated i don't want to date them now better off at friends isn't it as you grow up and mature your relationships change and i feel yeah. like you know you go from like dating people kind of every few months but like when you get to your age you're like okay i want to find someone now who i actually really really like what's the most unattractive thing about a girl i think if they smoke interesting I, i've written uh, i don't think i could ever date like a proper like always smoker you yeah I mean? well i i mum doesn't know this actually when oh, i was man. 16 i dated a boy who smoked and it was the most horrible experience i refused to date another smoker again not because i necessarily judged him because he smoked because you know we all can make our own decisions and our life choices and that's just what he wanted to do but for me kissing someone who smokes I don't personally like yeah. just because it's the taste and the smell it just lingers and not not a fan yeah I could I could understand that that that's not a lifestyle I have yeah so for me it's I like I don't want to be with anyone who has that lifestyle so what's the first thing that attracts you about a girl 
<laughs> There's so many, you're like, <laughs> I feel like I'm very judgmental at this point. If I see a girl, I'm like, she got nice hair. I like the clothes that she's wearing. Interesting, so fashion comes into play. I think it does. So, okay, what would you say is your type? You see, I don't know. <laughs> I'll happily go, for, not go for anybody, but like, I'll <laughs> give anybody a chance. Like, no matter mm. what they look like, I would be attracted to them. Yeah. I don't necessarily have a type. I'm just going to be brutally honest again. I've dated a lot of like different types of people. You're not like, oh, I really, really like brunettes, or I really, yeah. really like blondes, or I really like girls with blue eyes. I like a bit of everything. Yeah, like I've dated a ginger, or a brunette, or a blonde. <laughs> the only three hair colours <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Do you prefer a girl who wears makeup or no makeup? That's gonna sound like the basic guy thing again, like no makeup. I, really? I, I think that's so much better. Like, I don't know from a girl point of view, but I feel like girls are so much more confident when they wear makeup. Mm. For me, I find it attractive when they can go out confident with no makeup on. So as a guy, do you think that girls wear makeup because they think guys like it? It depends on some girls, because some girls like, are like, yeah, I want to wear makeup because I think I'll look better and mm. I'll, more boys will like, like me. I feel like other girls would be like, no, because I'm, I don't like the way that I look, so I'm gonna put on some makeup to go out on. Have you ever questioned your sexuality? No. Yeah, I know, I know I've know. i got a couple mates that have. Obviously, you're part of a big guy group. Do you guys speak openly about that kind of stuff? Or, because obviously you've got an older gay brother. Yeah. So what has that been like? Have people come to you about things like that? I wouldn't say that because I have got a gay brother mm -hmm. that people come to me. But <laughs> <laughs> Like you're the messiah of all gay knowledge. <laughs> I have had a friend that has just like come to me because I am a good friend mm -hmm. and he's chatted to me about it and wanted to wanted some advice like on like what he should do and stuff and he what should. would you say if someone came to you and was like you know I'm questioning my sexuality like would you judge them or would you like what information would you tell them because obviously from my experience growing up a lot of straight boys didn't understand yeah. and they weren't you know the best around me and I think it's such a generational thing because now people are a lot more kind of accepting and understanding. Have you found that your other friends are just as helpful? What kind of goes on in your social group? Nobody that I know of like has like proper came out as like gay. Yeah. I've had people come to me and be like, I don't know if I should tell people. I don't know if I should like open up to everybody. And I'm like, well, are you like 100% sure that you mm -hmm. are gay? They're like, I don't know yet. <laughs> Experiment and yeah. see like what you want and yeah. what you are more of. Well, you're not trained to tell them exactly, exactly. what you do, do, you know what I mean? So you can only give them kind of like advice. Whatever they want to do, really. If, yeah. they, if they want to sleep with whoever they want, they can sleep with whoever they want. Yeah. I'm not going to judge. They can come to you as a guy, mate. Nothing's going to change. You can be with whoever you want. You can be whoever you want. And the way our relationship is yeah. isn't going to change that. Do you prefer girls who are older or younger than you? I would say older. I have no reason why, <laughs> but I feel I just don't like the idea of being with someone younger than me. Maybe because they're more mature and they can like put you into place? Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to get put into place. <laughs> Would you get with someone your friend has got with? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I don't care. If, if they... You wouldn't think twice, you'd be like, oh, I'll have your sloppy seconds. Because <laughs> obviously that's what it is, <laughs> isn't it? It's like sloppy seconds. Yeah, but for me, yeah, okay, it's sloppy seconds, but if them two are over, I wouldn't I wouldn't be like, no, I'm not going near you. Because yeah. at the end of the day, them two are finished. If if my friend is happy for me. So <laughs> what if your friend didn't approve? Would you still do it? No. Okay. You yeah, wouldn't. No. That I, I I think no. Because you've got to stick to the bro code, don't you? If he told me not to do it, then I'll be like, okay, yeah, I'm not going to like go against you. You don't want that. You might be still getting over it or something like that. What would you do if your friend was being cheated on and you found out? I'd tell them. Would you? I, if I know something that's gonna hurt my friend, I'm gonna straight up tell them. I'm gonna have a chat with the person that cheated on him. Okay, so you would chat with them first and then be and like, then, if you don't tell them, I will tell basically, them. Basically, I'm not having yeah. my mate go through something like that. Yeah. I you wouldn't just let them get on with it. You'd yeah, no. have to step in. So what would you do if you found out one of your parents? I would have to do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously it's not nice. I would have to do it because it's just for my family's sake. I'm mm. not gonna I'm not gonna try and fraud my family of like, oh yeah, we're all some like loving family when my parents you know are cheating. And... Yeah. Well I think it's the long term as well, isn't it? Like yeah. if you did find out you've gotta be like, I know it's gonna be rubbish now. But then in the future, you know, you've got to be the mature one. I don't think I'd have the balls, you know. I think I'd be so worried that I'd just be like, Charlie, you do it. <laughs> Are boys bitchy? All the time, everyone says and labels girls as, you know, oh, the bitchy group or they're really bitchy and they talk about people. And, and people never speak about how guys can be just the same. So is that true? Like, are guys the same? Some guys are like dead 
there's like no way that they could ever change. You can't do anything about it because they're always going to be in no matter what you say to try and change their mind. But yeah, there, there are definitely some guys that are like bitchy almost. A lot of guys, if they are, then they're more like backstabby. So nobody would really, they're like under the radar. Oh. So like nobody really knows that they are like slagging off other people, but they are. Yeah. Rather than girl, girls are kind of like blatantly. Don't do it to your face. Yeah. Whereas guys are a little bit more sly. Yeah, then they will like act fake and be like, yo. So many fake people. <laughs> Did you ever have a crush on a teacher? I thought a teacher has been like good looking. Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> she, she's, she's good looking. Yeah. Okay, I remember her now. Yeah, she's good looking. Do you have a go-to best flirting line? No. You don't? Just whatever comes out when it's like... The same. <laughs> Even if it's stupid? Yeah, even if it's stupid. Sometimes it works. Sometimes the girls like kind of dig it. So if, someone, <laughs> if you say something stupid or like mess up what you're trying to say, they might like laugh and think, oh, that's cute. If your friend was going up to girls being like, oh, you know, here's my chat up line, would you ever pull them aside and be like, Stop. You're embarrassing yourself. I'd probably get a group of my other friends and just point at him and laugh at him while <laughs> At the time, when he when the guy comes back over, you're all like laughing about it anyway. Yeah. What is your worst quality? Are there any qualities that you'd be like, don't want to be friends with you anymore? Taking it too far. Interesting. If they're making like the wrong jokes, like, mm -hmm. but like the too far jokes. Almost like when it's gone from being funny and comedy to, to like, like serious. Serious, and... yeah. I think there's some issues as well that you can't really joke about. If I ever told my friend something and then they went and told somebody else, like that trust just instantly goes. Yeah. And that for me is like a really bad quality to have as a friend. You just need to be able to trust them, innit? Mm. What would be a, the best quality of a friend? Like, what do you look for? Being able to joke a lot. Yeah, 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 no, that makes sense though. You want someone that can take a lot of jokes because in the grow groups that I've been in, you're always like violating each other, making jokes about everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you need to, them to be able to like take it without them taking offense. Yeah, but it's just banter, isn't it? Like, yeah. being able to have banter about situations, one another, where you almost are on a mutual understanding. Well, those are all my questions. I hope you enjoyed being on my channel because obviously this is your first proper Fine. feature, your first time on my channel. How was it being in front of the camera? Was it weird? It's a new experience, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'll leave uh, my brother's fitness Instagram in the description box below for you guys to go and check out. Thank you very much, Charlie, for being on my channel. Thank I hope you much. guys enjoyed some of the questions and the answers that we gave in today's video. It was very interesting getting to know my brother on like a deeper level. If you guys enjoyed the video, if we get this video to 20 likes, then I will do one with my sister because Holly really wants to be on the channel as well. Thank you very much much guys for watching today's video if you did like this video then of course smash the like button and subscribe down below for more content and i will see you very very soon bye guys Later.